We're going to be doing something today that I've only done once before. Uh, we're going to be making summer sausage and snack sticks. What we did last year was we did a 60-40 blend. We did 60% venison, 40% pork. Um, one thing that we're going to do this year that we didn't do last year is uh, we're going to do three summer sausages of jalapeno and cheddar. Uh, we're going to be using shark cheddar cheese and we're going to be using jalapenos from my garden. What's going to happen is, is we've got two pork shoulders. Uh, we're going to have to cut those up, um, put them through the grinder right here, uh, and then we'll have to cut up some of the venison roasts that we have. Um, we will blend all of that up. Right now we have approximately 20 pounds of pork and about 10 pounds of venison roast that we cut up and put through one coarse grind. I have 20 pounds of ground venison that I'm going to add to this and it's going to give us a total of 50 pounds. Um, once I add this I'm going to mix it up with my hands and then we're going to run it through a second coarse grind to get a real good mix. We've got all 50 pounds of meat ground. Uh, we've done our all of our coarse grinding. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to separate it out into a 20 pound portion and a 30 pound portion. The 20 pounds we're going to do snack sticks, and the 30 pounds we're going to do summer sausage. And nine of the 30 pounds of summer sausage we're going to do jalapeno and cheddar. Um, so. Uh, once we separate them out, we're going to add the spices and then I'm going to have to change from this coarse grinding wheel to the fine grind and um, once the spices are all uh, mixed up, then we'll do the, the last fine grind and then we'll get into putting them in their casings. Now I'm going to mix up the summer sausage seasoning in three cups of cold water. Um, here's the seasoning and the cure and um, once this is all mixed up really well uh, I will be putting it up on the 30 pounds of meat um, and then we'll be doing the final fine grind 
seasoning is all mixed up for the summer sausage. Um, I'm now going to mix the seasoning up for the snack sticks. Again, uh, pretty much the same thing. It's going to be the seasoning and the cure. And um, this is in five cups of cold water and we're going to be adding it to 20 pounds of meat. And once this is all soaked in to the meat, we'll be doing this as a fine grind too. I'm gonna run outside really quick and I'm gonna grab some fresh jalapenos right out of the garden. Now I'm ready to mix the snack stick seasoning into our 20 pounds of meat. This has been in the freezer for about 20 to 25 minutes and I'm going to add a little bit at a time and once it's all mixed in it should have a pretty tacky texture to it and once it's all mixed up I'm going to put it back in the freezer because one of the things that you really got to make sure is that the meat stays cold throughout the whole process. All right. So now I'm just giving the summer sausage seasoning a quick whisk and I'm going to be folding this into our 30 pounds of pork venison mixture and pretty much I'm looking for the same thing uh, as I add it and I'm mixing it with my hands it should end up with that tacky texture um, again, throughout this whole process, you want to make sure that your meat stays as cold as it can. Um, because that, that's going to be the easiest way for you to work with it. So let's see how this one goes. As you can see, we now have the sausage stuffer attachment set up on my Cabela's grinder. Um, we're going to do the snack sticks first. So the casings that we're going to use for that, uh, these are edible casings that are used for the snack sticks. Um, once we're done filling these, we have four of these. Um, then we will switch over to the summer sausage casings and we have 10 of those. This is a bit more than a one-man job so I'm going to ask the person who has been behind the camera this whole time. Let me introduce my brother Gary. Um, so I'm going to load the meat and Gary is going to manage the snack stick casings. We're ready to finish up with the 30 pounds of the summer sausage. So here we have the regular blend. And then over here you can see we have jalapeno and cheddar. 
and over here we have jalapeno and monterey jack and it's pretty much going to be exactly the same thing except um, instead of those very long casings we're going to be using these and it works the same way you just thread it on from this side here and once it's threaded on you just fill it up exactly the same way so as it starts to fill you just add pressure with your hand here so it's as tight as it can be If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you can be up to date on all of our upcoming videos. It's day two, um, and we are in the process of getting our chubs uh, ready um, to cook. So what we have to do is we have to bring them up to the temperature of um, right around 152 degrees, somewhere between 152 and 160. And we have our, our meat probes here, and you can see um, what it's reading, and we have it set to the target temperature of 152 there. And we have a total of 10 chubs, and luckily my oven can hold 10. Um, so let's get started. So you really want to make sure that they're evenly distributed in the oven. And so I'm going to set it for 170. And we're going to let it come up to temperature very slowly. And once it hits that target temperature, um, we'll be ready to soak them in an ice bath until they cool off. And once that's done, once that's done, then we'll, we'll hang them for about an hour so that they can, what's called, bloom. Quick check-in. Um, as you can see, our temperatures have gone up. So this one started out at 34. It's up to 86 now. Um, we originally had our, our target temperature to 152. I've moved that up to 156. Um, you want to be somewhere between 152 and 160. So 156 is the intermediary. So everything's going good. Um, we're just waiting to hit that, that target temperature. Okay guys, so you can see we've hit our target temperature of 156. So this has the probe in the, um, the bottom shelf, lower right. And as you can see this one right here, which is in the summer sausage that's in the upper left. That one is still only at 139, so we haven't hit the target temperature there yet. We're gonna take this summer sausage out, and put it in the ice bath, because it's good to go. And then we'll put this probe in another one, and as they all come up to temperature, we'll take each one out in turn and put them in the ice bath. So here we go, I'm gonna put my heat gloves on. Here we go. And 
in the ice bath it goes. So I just put that probe in the that summer sausage and you can see it's registering 143. So as soon as that one comes up to temperature, we'll take that one out. And as they each come up, we'll take them out and put them in the ice bath. We're up to temperature. Uh, like I said, we have been taking them out as they've been getting up to temperature and then switching the probe over to the next um, summer sausage. So we're down to three. So I'm pulling this one. Put that in the ice bath. And then I'm going to put the probe in this one. And you'll see the temperature as it goes up, as it adjusts. And as you can see, we're down to the last two. So 155 degrees on that one and 153 on this one. As soon as they both get up to 156, we're good to go. And then we can start on the snack sticks. All of the summer sausage is done and it's soaking in the ice bath right now. And like I said, uh, next we're working on the snack sticks. And as you can see in the oven, we, uh, we have them set up. Um, directly on the racks just like that. We put down the aluminum foil just to kind of help um, with anything that might leak out. Uh, we got the probes in ready to go and you can see that one which is on the lower rack is set at um, 70 degrees and this one is currently at 73 degrees and actually we need to change these um, because our target temperature is 165. So I got it set to 165 and we're just going to close up the oven and rock and roll. So let me get my gloves here. Uh, they've been soaking in an ice bath for about 20 minutes or so and we just hung up all 10 of them and we're going to let them hang for about an hour so that they can bloom and then we can pretty much do whatever that we want to with them we can put them in the fridge cut them up serve them immediately freeze them um, give them to our friends uh, pretty much anything that you can think of so we're almost finished with the snack sticks we just reached our first core temperature for our first set of uh, snack sticks so this one goes to the bottom row here. Oh man, they look fantastic. Look at that. Oh man, look at that. 